I have this spreadsheet that I would like to update for the new financial tax year. So I'm going to open this just so you can see the problem I'm having. So I can click into cells, which is fine. If I go to try and change something, it tells me that the sheet is protected. So it's telling me the date was on the tax sheet. So if I go to the tax sheet, these are the parameters that I want to change. But as soon as I do, again, it tells us that my sheet is protected. So normally I would go to review and unprotect sheet. However, I can't remember my password. How do I get around this? First thing to do is to come out of the spreadsheet. And the next thing I'm going to do is make a copy of it. Copy, right click, paste. This works within a folder or on your desktop. So what I'm going to do first of all is change the, ex the file extension from a spreadsheet to a zip file. To do that, I need to just change the settings on the folders. So if you go to view and you want to take file name extensions first of all, and there straight away you can see MP4, JPEG, XLSX. Great. So now it's now shown as an XLSX. So I'm just going to click on that, go to the end and type in zip and then press enter. Are you sure you want to change the extension file name? Yes. You've noticed now it's come up as a compressed zip file. So this is a, a standard Windows 10 with Microsoft 365. There are a lot of other tools out there you can use to do this quicker, but this is the easiest one if uh, you just have Windows standard tools. So the first thing I'm going to do is double click on the zip file and it opens up into the compressed folder tools. Double click on the Excel. Another folder will appear within that. You want to go into worksheets. Double click again. And here are the, all the sheets that are within your original spreadsheet. It hasn't kept the names of the individual worksheets, which I renamed them to. It just called them sheets one to seven. So I'm not quite sure which one I need to unprotect. So that's okay. If you have a lot of tabs like this and you can't remember which one you need to unprotect, um, just start by double clicking on the first one. So this opens up in an HTML document. Don't worry, you don't have to know what all this means for this. All we're going to be doing, I'm going to press Control and F, brings up a search bar, and I'm going to look for the word protect. It's found one match, great. And there it is there. So that means that there is protection on sheet one in the spreadsheet. If you found that there was no protection found, that means that there is no password on the spreadsheet. So if that was the case, you would just go through each one of these sheets to find the one with protection on it. So the next thing to do is to remove the protection. You can't simply delete all this protection scenario within the HTML sheet here. So first thing we're going to do is come out of it and we're going to make a copy of this sheet so we can edit it. So drop and drag onto your desktop. So right click, open with notepad. And this is kind of the language behind the HTML document. What we're going to look for here again is the word protect. Again, you don't have to know what all this means. At the same time, you don't want to be deleting anything out of here either. Otherwise, it won't work when we convert it back to a spreadsheet. So go to Edit and Find or Control and F. It's remembered the protect that you searched for before in the HTML. Find Next. Close that. And there it's found Sheet Protection. So I'm just going to expand that a bit. So you find the open brackets before protection and we're going to highlight 
all this to the end of the close bracket like that. Next you want to press delete. Now you can either file and save or you can close it and if it prompts you to save press yes. Next thing to do if I try and put that XML document back into the folder it uh, will probably make a copy of it but what we want to do is replace that so I'm just going to delete the original one first of all yes and I'm going to drop and drag that back into the folder there sheet one XML I'm now going to go through all the sheets and do exactly the same thing I'm just going to remove that there so double click on sheet two Control and F. Again, I'm looking for the word protect. Yep, so sheet two also has protection on it. So copy that over to the desktop or another folder. Right click, open with, notepad, so you can edit it. Control and F, find the protect. There it is there. And to remove that protect, we'll highlight the whole area within the brackets. Hit delete or backspace. Go to file and save. Be careful not to remove anything else. Delete the old sheet. Yes. Drag back the sheet from your desktop to the folder. Now if you were to open the XML document and now look for the word protect. You'll see it comes up, no matches found. That's what you want. So I'm just gonna do this for all these seven sheets now. Now you've confidently removed the password from all these individual sheets you can close the compressed folder. Now what we're gonna do is change this back to an Excel spreadsheet. To do that, go to the end and just highlight the zip part, change that to Excel SX, press enter. Are you sure you wanna change the file name extension? Yes. Enable editing. Just going to undo that because I want to change the source of the tax code. So I want to change this to 40,000. It allows us now. Press save. Excellent. So now I'm quite confident that I can change all the parameters on all the sheets in here. So now I can use this for another year. So now what you can do, if you want to reintroduce a password for this sheet, you can go back up to review and protect sheet and this time put a password in that is current that you will remember. I'm actually going to leave this blank and press OK and then I won't inadvertently delete that in the future if I don't want to but it also means that if I forget the password I can just click on unprotect sheet. Save that and come out of that. And now you can just delete your old spreadsheet. And now you have your new one for the new current year.